the biblical truth of our hymn. And today we got a great story, a good one, a good history of today's hymn, which I believe is 83. We've done at least 83 hymns. Today's Rock of Ages. Let's get into it. This is interesting. And it's a good it's a good hymn, and we get some interesting details out of this study and something to learn. I learn. So from Psalms 94 22, let me read. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. Rock of Ages, a popular hymn written by Reverend Augustus Toplady. 1763. It was published in Gospel Magazine, 1775. Traditionally, it was inspi the inspiration by Top Lady was an incident in a gorge of Burmington Combe in Mendip Hills, England. The preacher Top Lady by a near village in Blagdon was traveling along the gorge when a storm approached. Finding shelter in the gap of the gorge, he was struck by the title and wrote down initial lyric. The fisher, to believe to have sheltered Top Lady, 51.3254 degrees north, 2.753 degrees point west, is now marked as Rock of Ages both on the rock itself and on some maps. And there's a reflective of a name of a nearby tea shop. And I can't pronounce it in German. It gets even more interesting. When my eyes shall close in death, we'll get that, was originally written, my eye sting, stri my eye string break in death. There was a speculation. The Calvinist top lady, hold on, you, you, you probably didn't know. The Calvinist top lady, the words be of sin the double cure, save from wrath and make me pure, and that's what's in what we have here, suggests, and he agreed with the teachings of Methodist preacher John Wesley. which he received his religious conversion. That double cure taught by John Wesley, a sinner is saved by the atonement of Jesus and cleansed in bed sin by the infilling of the Holy Spirit. The Reverend Topley's own published hymnal in 1776 is quoted to be in sin, the double cure save me from its guilt and power. Well, that's not what's here. But so there's a little problem to being a Calvinist and then the words say Jesus saves me. Um, all, right. all right. It's been in movies. The Gunfighter, 1950. Sung at the funeral. How the West Was Won, 1962. Performed at Prescott's burial. Uh, Paper Moon. Rock of Ages was sung during the open sequence of Andy Prey's mother's funeral. Uh, Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence and Hinn. Sung poorly by character Major Jack Sellers, played by David Bowie. Silence of the Lamb. To play on the organ, a few funeral scene. Hang 'em High, 1968, sung by a crowd watching the six men hanging at Fort Grant. Uh, Bing Crosby, Harry Como, Pat Boone. The hymn was a favor of Prince Albert, who asked it to be played for him on his deathbed, as did Confederate General G.E.B. Stewart. It was also played at the funeral of William Gladstone. In his book, 
In this book, Hymns That I Have Held, W.T. Steed reported when the SS London went down in the Bay of Biscoe, 11 January 1866. The last thing which was the last thing which the last man who left the ship heard the boat pushed off from the doomed vessel were the voices of passengers singing Rock of Ages. this other information but 1980s British rock group Def Leppard was inspired by an ancient hymns text when a member of a choir left their hymn book in the rec recording studio. John Elliott later wrote the lyrics of their song Rock of Ages after reading it and in their music video the band members dressed up as monks. Man they're gonna have to answer to that one day. Uh the hymn too was featured throughout Westminster's location in the game of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The hymn was regarded as one of the great four Anglican hymns of the 19th century. In his score, Alter states John Carlargo made reference to this hymn many times to symbolize the religious struggle of the hero and the memories of his anti religious father which it figures in one of its hallucinations. A large round staglet in Carlsberg Caverns is named Rock of Ages. Rangers leaning towards would stop there, turn out the lights, and lead the group in singing the hymn. And it's been cited in German, Latin, and other great languages. I thought that was interesting. So this hymn holds great value of history of the Calvinists, and the words are brought to us by Wesley, John Wesley. Rock of Ages. And Paul says that rock that followed him was Christ. Cleft for me. And Moses. God told Moses, there's a cleft in the rock. No man can see my glory and live. Let me hide myself in thee. Again, in that storm that he hid in, in the cleft of the rock. And in that rock that Moses hid. God no longer sees us. He sees Christ. Let the water and the blood flow. Well, that's scripture. That's after Jesus Christ died and the, and the spear went into his side. Remember, this is a Calvinist. Came to John Wesley. <laughs> From the wounded side which flowed. Scripture. Be of sin, the double cure. Save from wrath and make me pure. Now, that's the change. That's not worded in Reverend Top Lady's original 1777. But this is taken from John Wesley. So, a hymn taken by a reverend of Calvinism brought to us by Wesley. Not the labors of my hands, not of works, least any man should boast, can fulfill the law's demand. The law only shows how guilty we are. And if I offend the law at one point, I am guilty in all. And then when we look at the law, looking at the Ten Commandments, who's been the perfect child? No one. And yet, the Bible says, honor thy mother and father. And when we dishonored our parents at least once, or a parent, we offended the law in one point of nine points of the entire law we're guilty. Could my zeal no respite? No. Could my tears forever flow? The law can't do it. This hymn, Rock of Ages, gives us the gospel. And it gives us what the law and what we cannot do for salvation. 
all for sin could not atone. There is absolutely nothing I can bring in my hands that would save my soul. Am I going to bring gold? God made the gold when he made the earth. Because the gold comes out of the earth. Is he gonna, am I going to bring paper money? Paper money comes from trees. Trees were made by God in Genesis 1. Everything I have and own and everything I can obtain and you is borrowed from God. My breath is not even my own because the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, and God breathed into man, he became a living soul. What do I have that is mine that doesn't belong to God that I can bring to God? And please him. Nothing. Nothing. Thou must save. Thou alone. Whoa. That's a bold biblical statement. Who's the one going to save you? Only God. Only Jesus Christ. That's it. If I go, no. I do, no. I, no. Salvation eliminates the word I. Because it's nothing I can do. And it eliminates the word you. Because there's nothing you can do. It's all on what Jesus has done. It's the rock of all ages. There was a rock long before the, there was an earth and that rock is jesus nothing in my hand i bring now he says in, in in stanza two not the labors of my hands and number three nothing in my hand i bring rock of ages is a hymn that says you can't do it all right, we got my stanza number two, stanza number three. And when you when Rock of Ages is sung in the church, you know, okay, we're going to do one, two, and four. No, Rock of Ages should be one, two, three, and four. It goes scripturally with the gospel of Jesus, and it goes scripturally, not of works, least any man boast. So there's nothing my hands can do. And there's nothing in my hand I can bring. I can't or gold out of the ground and bring the gold to God. And that's exactly what Cain tried to do. Cain tilled the ground. Cain weeded the ground. Cain fertilized the ground. Cain watered the ground. And then Cain brought the fruits of his hands. And that was unacceptable. Simply, don't we say salvation is simple? Simply to the cross I cling. And it's not the cross because the cross was made by man. It's the one who died on the cross. And the debate is who killed Jesus? Well, actually, the Jewish people killed Jesus by, by yelling out crucify him. But you can't kill God. It is Jesus that gave up the ghost. But the Jews wanted him to be given up. Pilate ordered him to be crucified. But the actual death of Jesus is God himself giving up the ghost. Not even man could have killed Jesus. God killed himself. And not suicide. You want salvation, you got to come to the cross. you got to come to Calvary. You got to kneel down before that, that bleeding Savior that suffered and died according to the scriptures and say, You're the one. It is because of I that you are up there suffering and dying right now. 
Now remember, I said you and I can't save our souls. But it was I and you that caused him to be on that cross. And the I and you can't save. It is him. And what's Reverend Augusta, Augusta Top Lady saying? My salvation is the cross of Jesus. That's a pretty bold statement. Would you agree for a Calvin who met John Wesley? Now, Calvin's believe that God saves you. True. Or God may not save you. True. But not by faith of the believer or the unbelief of, of a non-believer. God says, you, 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 you're going to heaven Beyond a shadow of a doubt, you don't have nothing to say. And you, 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 you're going to hell. I don't care what you do. That's what Calvin's believe. God chooses who goes to heaven. God goes to hell. That's a Calvinistic belief in a nutshell. Or a dead tula. This Calvinist said, listen, it's the cross. He believes the cross. This guy has stepped out of the realm of Calvinism and has put his belief in Christianity, Jesus Christ, alone. Naked come to thee for dress. Fine linen is the righteousness of saints, Revelation says. 19, I think it is. 18 or 19. So... Reverend Topley says, I, I, I can't do nothing with my hands. I can't bring nothing with my hands. And when I am at, at the cross, I am naked before God and clothe me. Job says, though I wash myself with snow water, my own clothes is going to hoard me. I'm going to say, I'm going to make a statement, and I could be wrong, but I'm going to say that Reverend Topley is, knows his Bible. Because there's a lot of scripture in these four standards. If you yourself have studied the scripture. He says, the only way I'll be dressed before God if God gives me the clothing. Revelation 19. Helpless. I, I can't do nothing with my hand. I can't bring nothing with my hand. I am naked before God. And I am standing at the cross. That's not a Calvinistic view to say helpless. Because when I stood at the cross, April 21st, 1987, well, Stalin, what is going to get you out of hell? I don't know. I've got 18 years of going against God. And seven, eight years, maybe nine years of Catholic Church. Even then I wasn't interested. <laughs> A few burning candles, blah, 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 blah. And when I came to the cross that afternoon, April 21st, and the Bible was open, I was sure I was a sinner. I could smell hell. And Christ was shown the way, the truth, and the life. I'm helpless without Christ. And I got down my knees and I asked Christ to save my soul. Look to thee for grace. Lord Jesus, without you, I'm burning in hell. I think this, I think this hymn is funny because here is a Calvinism or a Calvinistic preacher. And he's writing about grace and he's writing about mercy. He's writing about the love of God on, upon Calvary's cross that I, God lady, believe. To be so. You 
And there'll be people at the great white throne judgment. Well, Jesus, didn't I do this? Jesus, didn't I do that? Jesus, didn't I go here? Jesus, membership here. Jesus, I got wet here. Jesus, I... And the words of Jesus will be, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. They are still charged with their sin. Whatever they've done, they've still got the sin. Whatever I have done, there is no sin because I came to the cross of Jesus and the blood of God, Jesus Christ, Acts 20, 28, washed my sins away. That's what the Rock of Ages is saying. This is one of those, hey, it's an easy remedy. Somebody goes, hey, well, you want to choose a, a, a hymn to sing in church tonight? Rock of Ages. Fall. I stink. I'm vile. I'm out of line. You know, any sport event, if the ball or you have gone foul, is you have stepped out of the boundary line. I'm out of the bounds of God. I'm out of my lane. I to the fountain fly, the fountain of blood. Salvation by the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash me. Savior. Jesus. I come to the cross. There's nothing I can bring. There's nothing I can do. I am naked. I am helpless. I stink. Wash me, Jesus, Savior. Or what is my hope? Or I die. He's backing up what John said. He that has the Son has everlasting life. But he that has not the Son shall not see light. There we are. But the wrath of God abiding upon him. There's a lot of scripture in this hymn. While I drew, draw this fleeting breath. We're all going to die unless the rapture happens. My grandmother believed, say, she was going to see the rapture, and she didn't see the rapture. While I drew my feet, death will come unless the Lord tarry. When my eyes shall close in death. When I soar to worlds unknown. Now, you may read that and say, hmm. well, let me ask you something. And you know I'm a kicker. And you know I, I, I'm a junkyard dog and I'll growl. All right? And you say, Sally, they're going to pick. When I soar the world's unknown, describe to me what heaven's going to be like, absent from the body and presence with the Lord. Yeah, I know we read the Bible. There's the throne of God. There's the cherubim. There's 424 elders. There are the massive amount of angels. What's your loved ones going to look like? I've got two wives in heaven right now. What, what am I going to see them? Their bodies are in the grave. But their soul is in glory. What, what are they going to look like? Tell me. Draw me... Paint me, watercolor me, acrylic me, oil paint me, color pencil me, a picture of Jesus. You can't. What's heaven smell like? Even the Apostle Paul says, and Jesus said, you know, how can I tell you heavenly things? You haven't even understood the earthly things. If I were to drop dead right now in this video and be absent from the body, be, whoa. First of all, I'm going to see Jesus then when I, when I pick myself up. Whoa. 
And Paul went to the third heaven. I believe that whether out of the spirit or in the spirit, I, I cannot tell. I believe that was Paul. And probably when he was stoned at Lystra. Maybe wrong. John, the apostle, through the book of Revelations, was there. And how much did he write of what was there? You can't write in an unholy world the holiness of heaven. So when I soar to worlds unknown, it's not saying, oh, I doubt my salvation. or It's unexplainable. And see thee on thy judgment throne. Now we're going to see those that are saved at the judgment seat of Christ. That will come, and I believe that's after the rapture. I believe that the seven-year period, the tribulation period, I believe that that seven years is going to be the Christians being judged at the judgment seat of Christ and all wrapped up near or around the seventh year of the tribulation period. And we get our white clothing, the righteousness of saints, and then we get on the horses and mount and come back. Now, how long the judgment seat of Christ takes place, I don't know. But if I were to die right now, be absent from the body and present with the Lord, the next great event for me coming up would be the rapture of the church, the dead in Christ shall rise, those that remain, then we're going to be judged. Rock of ages, Jesus Christ, cleft for me. Open that side. Let me get it. Thomas, reach in thy finger. <laughs> Lord, not just my finger, not my, all of me. I just did a Peter there. Let me hide myself in thee. Excellent. Wonderful. And when you find this story about a man who, who is outside of town where he preaches, and there's a storm, and he jumps inside of a, of a cliff of a gorge and God said here I want you to write this and I don't care you're a Calvinist this is a wonderful great hymn some of you would be like uh oh Sally found a Calvinist he's gonna nail him not this time I'll sing Rock of Ages any day over Amazing Grace and we've already done that two, two or three hymns ago Amazing Grace is terrible compared to Rock of Ages. Glory to God in the highest, but Rock of Ages. 